people there, such as have a proud tradition of being the heart of the ship and the morale of the crew on board naval vessels deployed all around the world. We serve on ships, submarines, planes, sea battalions, and naval bases. We serve at the White House, Vice President's residence, Camp David, the Pentagon, and the residence of four star flag officers. We stand ready at all times to make our significant contribution to answering our nation's call. Please stand for the National Anthem. And salute. C 
CSSR Devera CDN 74 John C. Stennis. CSSN Iboibi CDN 71 Theodore Elizabeth. CSSA Interline EDG 94 USS Nipsey. CSSN Garrett, CDN 74, John C. Stennis. CSSR Hart, CDN 74, John C. Stennis. CSSR Hernandez Pino, EDG 106, Stockdale. CSSR Horn, CDN 71, Theodore Roosevelt. CSSR Johnson, Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 3. CSSSR 4, Basic Enlisted Sub School. CSSN Little, CDN 73, George Washington. CSSN Lombard, MCM 11, Gladiator. CSSSR Manly, Basic Illicit Sub School. CSSSR Mariche, Basic Enlisted Sub School. CSSR Marmito, BFA 34, Blue Blasters. CSSR Mitchell, CDN 71, Theodore Roosevelt. CSSR Odom, LSD 42, Germantown. CSSSR Badia Martinez, Basic Enlisted Sub School. CSSR Rapata, NES Whitby Island. CSSA Rivas Rivas, EDG 120 RM11. CSSSN Sanchez, Basic Enlisted Sub School. CSSSR Simmons Taylor, Basic Enlisted Sub School. CSSN Udame, DDG 113, John Finn. CSSR Wright, CBN 74, John C. Simmons. During this five weeks course, our Navy students challenge themselves and their peers to grow both personally and professionally. We will now recognize the individual achievements of those students who excelled in both performance and academics. Senior Chief Whiteside will present the awards. The following awards are given to the class leader, assistant class leader, master at arms, duty section leaders, and religious leaders. The students receiving these awards have shown great poise, innovation, and dedication to duty, reflecting great credit upon themselves. CSSS and Contreras. CSSN Udame, CSSSR Padilla Martinez, CSSN Berrigan, CSSR Brown, CSSN Iboivi, 
CSSS and Sanchez, CSSR Ajaboye, CSSR Johnson. Attention to award from Officer in Charge, Naval Technical Training Center Detachment for Greg Adams. Subject, letter of appreciation. I want to personally thank you for a superior performance while volunteering to be a student leader from CSA School Class 41. Your acceptance of this position displays true leadership, professionalism, and motivation. Your performance was exemplary. You have set an exceptionally high standard of excellence for future class leaders to emulate. Your actions have reflected credit upon this command and yourself. Congratulations on a job well done. Signed, A.J. Johnson, Chief Warrant Officer 3, Supply Corps, United States Navy. I just want to say it's been a crazy journey, your five weeks here in class. I really appreciate all my leadership for stepping up and doing what is right. We all know we are not all perfect, but you all came together to make sure our path was uniform and on the straight and narrow. All I asked was to ensure who we start with is who we end with, and you made that all happen. I hope you don't forget your leadership traits that you learned here and carry that out to the fleet. First rank, right face, fall out. Second ring, right face, fall out. The following award is the Superior Culinary Award. This was a difficult one to choose from since I have a full class of Superior Culinarians. But you three really stood out and got things going in the gallery week. Stepped up to do extra jobs, was always on the move. Keep up the good work. Your next command is lucky to have you. CSSA Cooley, CSSR Hart, and CSSR Marmito. Students, right face, fall out. I would now like to present the Hard Charger Award. You have always had a questioning attitude your whole duration here. Even though Japan was a big talk that we talked about, you still carried yourself out in a military manner and continued to strive. Keep up the hard work, and I'm sure to see you very successful in your career. CSSN Little, front and center. Student, right face, fall out. Next, I would like to present our Distinguished Honor Graduate Award. This award is presented to the student who has achieved the highest grade point average. CSSSR Manly, front and center. We know we call Mr. Manley Mr. 100. 
got 100 on his first three tests, but that did not stop him for his next two tests. This is why he is receiving the Distinguished Honor Graduate Award. Student, right face, fall out. Next, I would like to present our accelerated petty officers. This award is given to those whose performance was exemplary both prof professionally and personally during their five week course. They will assume the rank of Petty Officer 3rd Class within 4 to 10 months upon arrival of new command. CSSN Berrigan, CSSSR Contreras, CSSR Devera, and CSSSR Manley, front and center. Students, right face, fall out. Finally, I would like to invite CSSN Udame up front and center. Attention to Frockman, certificate of advancement to all who shall see these presents. Greetings, no heed that authority of investing in me, of reposing special trust and confidence in patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Ryan E. Udame. I do hereby appoint you to the rate of culinary specialist third class, United States Navy. To the rank as such from on the day of the 20th day of July, 2023. As a petty officer in the United States Navy, having earned the special trust and confidence of your superiors, you are now here and so long and proud of a proud tradition of naval leadership by embracing this appointment, you are tasked with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and a nation which may serve as an inevitable example to your fellow Navy men and women. You must have an un unwavering drive to succeed and to your mentors and others. You must also strive to always present yourself as a role model for others with your actions reflecting your sincerity, commitment to duty, and moral responsibility. You will make a significant contribution to the effectiveness and reputation of the United States Navy by displaying an unwavering trust and obedience towards superiors, collaboration and loyalty to your peers, and strength and understanding towards your supporters. Congratulations. Sign KJT Commander, United States Navy Command Officer. Class 41, take seats. We will now have closing remarks by our officer in charge, CW03 Johnson. Morning, morning, motivators.
I don't know, sir. Morale. I was looking at the morale of this group right here. Everyone here, and y'all seem like I was serious. It's time to go. It's time to go. Ready to go, ready to go do some things. But I want to say, you are the heartbeat of any ship that you step on, and you are the morale of the group. So, I want y'all to give me just a little feedback. Tell me what's the first thing that you want to eat when you go home, when you're going to leave. Tortillas. Tortillas. All right, all right. What you got? Somebody else? Uh, shrimp. Shrimp. Okay. Well, who's going to make it? What? Who's going to cook it? Uh, you okay? <laughs> Curry goat. Curry goat. Okay, sounds good. What you got, ma'am? <laughs> so you're making food. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Somebody else? Check that. Huh? You just want a home cooked meal. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody else, give me what you want to eat. Some lobster. Some lobster. Okay. All right. So what else? Huh? Some soul food. Okay. Now I just want you to look at each other's faces, right? Y'all see the smiles on people's faces just from us just thinking about food? Just thinking about food. Just think about who's going to make it. You know what I'm saying? It's just making us smile. It's us. We control food. We control food. So, I want you, every time you cook something, I want you to cook it with the intent of changing somebody's life, changing somebody's food, right? I want y'all to be the next, you know, salt bait or whatever. I want y'all to do this thing. I want y'all to do it. All right, I'm going to tell you one story, right? I like to tell stories. So, if I tell you, I can kill an alligator with my bare hands. Most of y'all be like, mm, sir, you're yeah, right, right? <laughs> like, you're yeah, right, uh, I don't know. But if I tell you, hey, I can kill an alligator with my bare hands, uh, most of y'all think I'm, I'm losing, you know what I'm saying? I start my weekend off early, and uh, I'm, you know, been drinking a little bit. But it's fine. But I'm here to say this. Most of you don't know that an alligator gets paralyzed after he eats a huge meal. After it eats a huge meal, an uh, uh, alligator gets paralyzed. So I make sure I feed it a meal that you guys had, what you guys was feeding me all last week, right? All this week. I mean, it was amazing. I mean, every meal that y'all put on this week was amazing. I wish the families could have been here to see the food that they put on this week. I mean, what they had? Stuffed French toast, uh, shrimp and grits, um, Chicken and waffles. I mean, that was just for breakfast. Then they had like um, food truck thing. And, I mean, you name it. Every meal this week was amazing. And y'all need to make sure that they replicate those meals for you guys. I'm talking about it was perfect. So uh, I'll make sure that I feed the alligator a good meal just like you guys fed me this week. And uh, Make sure it's good and paralyzed, and I take some tools, and I basically overcome uh, the alligator. Now, guess what? You guys have just ate a huge meal as far as your graduate, all right? I don't want you to become paralyzed. I don't want you to become paralyzed. I don't want you to become stagnant. I want you guys to continue to have goals, continue to strive for excellence, right, and continue to, uh, to challenge the mindset of your leadership. That's what I want you to do. Everything will be fine. Still do three things. Show up to work on time, have a square away uniform, and do what your leadership tell you to do. You'll be better than 50% of the people in your team. Guaranteed. Show up to work on time. Have a square away uniform and do what your leadership tell you to do. You'll be better than 50% of the people in your team. So I want y'all to give it to me. One last time. One last time, I want y'all to give it to me. So when I say it's too easy, you gotta say it's too easy. When I say we got this, you say we got this. When I say all in, you gotta say all the time. All right. It's too easy. It's too easy. Got this. We got this. It's too easy. It's too easy. Got this. We got this. All in. All the time. All in. All the time. All in. All the time. Thank you, sir. Let's give it up for our OIC. Before we close, I have put together a presentation of memories I want you all to always remember in your journey to never forget where it all started and you're in charge of how it ends. Remember to always have fun, be willing to learn, and success will come. Our
student of the week, CSSR column. Then after sanitation and nutrition, we went into techniques of cooking. And as you know, our cleaning policy is... <laughs> To the left, clap to the right. Sounds so good, let me hear it twice. All right, all right. I say your left, right on, right on your left. Right! I say your left, right on, right on your left. Right! I say your left, right on, right on. hitting the fleet. Super five. Super five. Super five. 